when I'm with my new own powers, I can choose where which bar appears. Well, not anywhere, but on specific spots. So I could put something. I just decided I would test. So it goes there. Doesn't exactly hit. If I do it like that, I can push it to the blue one with the red bar. I guess that would work. Or maybe I can push it over. And it goes straight to that blue one. Let's see how it works. It did work. Here's enough, I guess. This was almost making me dizzy. Uh, glad I was rid of that hallway. So, it's one of these again. Puts a ball through a hole.
I feel like it's the same puzzles that I've done before, except I'm, I'm put into the place of designing where. Where should I put the atoms that I need to get the ball in the hole? Kind of the same, but not quite. Quite different, actually. I was quite sure these would be the puzzle pieces that I needed, but uh, somehow I didn't quite manage to. Maybe I can catch it with the yellow one. If I do it properly. <sighs> Where is the muse or angel now? But I really feel like this shouldn't be that hard of a thing.
I'm really broken ideas. Maybe if I just turn it around enough, I'll eventually get it. Doing the same thing again and again doesn't seem to work. Curious.
Where do I want you? Have it. Indecisive. Something in me doesn't agree through all this. So I'm not sure what to do. Wanna just bring it, but of course Blue is just gonna push it. Because it has to be dropped on it or pushed on it. To make it spring or sprang. It needs to feel the pressure. figured it out. I could pull the floor as well. <clears throat> then I could push the L1. It's on top of the spot. So now I could lift it with the red one. But I really needed the blue one to be under it. Plus. That unfortunately the green box got stuck to the yellow cubes, which made it to go unsynchronized with the bottom mana where I needed it to be. I feel felt like I needed to go again. Now I knew what I was doing. mostly I circled the wrong way as usual I just never need to seem to get it the other one nicely picked the green box where it should be <coughs> now all I really needed was to rotate the floor again the wrong way. The marrow says it's enough. The floor part is on the right spot. Now I just need to push it on it. And the blue one needs to go under. Magically. The window breaks. Somehow, a teleportation occurred. I didn't know how I got there. How did I drop from there? It all befizzled me, bewildered me. It was a long path, light on the other end. My past and this facility behind me, it felt like some kind of closure. This room was really, really bright. Grey, uninteresting blocks blocked the other way. And I had another elevator ride to catch. I saw different levels. All moving, all instrumental-like. In synchronization. Though not wholly, but there was a system, a clear organization now, or order, how they worked. There was no randomness in all of this. The facility lived as it liked, as it was built to be. Those floors were left behind me. I wonder what was ahead of me. There was a big door. And the TV screen. This. 
but it's like something wholly different. This show that this is somehow abandoned. This looks like a spaceship. This was where I was going to leave this place for good. I was gonna die or get to freedom no matter what. I was not going to stay here. My one way to get to whatever to my dream. Here it is. Visions of something. Boxes, debris, floating in the space. Me floating in the space on my little escape pod. I saw Earth. Home, home so far away from home. I don't know if I ever would get there. But at least I got out of the infernal. Well, not infernal, but ex exceptionally lonely and anxiety. Field place. Familiar colors were greeted me as I exited. I wished I could get just home to Earth, but at least I got out of whatever the facility was. Just by using my brain, I reached for freedom. to a specific angel, muse, or whatever good entity that helped me. I might just have a chance to get back home. He found peace at the end of his journey. He never got home, but it didn't really matter to him. He got away from the facility. He never stopped. He did as much as he could. So eventually he got away. And he was happy. He was happy. For the rest of his life. Even though he never got home.